welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today we're going to be doing this very simple antique floral tumbler. Sometimes a simple design with beautiful colors is enough to stand out in the crowd. So let's step outside of that color comfort zone we all know so well and try some new colors today. As always, I'll put everything that I use today into the description below, so that way you guys can shop those items if you would like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. Now here, as you can see, I already have my tumbler all prepped and ready to go. That base color that I used is called Harvest Peach, and that is by Rust-Oleum. And that is what's going to help us get that beautiful mustard yellow look. Now I already have my epoxy all mixed up. I like to use Amazing Quick Coat Epoxy by Illumilite, just so that way I can get my coats on quicker. But you guys can use any type of epoxy you already have on hand. So I went ahead and I stirred that, stirred that up, and now I'm just going to apply it straight onto my tumbler. You just wanna give it a very thin amount of epoxy. You don't need too much, just enough to make sure that it's fully coated and there are no dry spots, so that way our glitter has something to stick to. Once I have my epoxy applied all the way around my tumbler here, I like to kind of just twirl it in my hand for a minute just to make sure that there's no peaks and valleys in that epoxy. It, it smooths out pretty quick, so you don't have to hold it for too long. The glitter that I'm gonna be using today is called Mango, and that is through my glitter shop at socglitters.com if you would like to purchase it. And I am going to fully coat my entire tumbler with my glitter. I'm going to let that stand to cure because we didn't add an, that much epoxy. It doesn't need to turn on the turner. I'm going to let that stand and cure for about three hours. Now remember, I'm using my quick coat epoxy. And then I'm going to give it a second coat of that quick, quick coat epoxy. There we go. I can say it. And I am going to let that dry for about or cure for about six hours before I move on to the next step. You just want to remember whatever type of epoxy you use, you want to make sure that your tumbler is not sticky at all. You want to make sure it's nice and cured and ready to go for this next part that we are about to do. Now I went on to Etsy and I found these beautiful antique roses. And like I said earlier, I'll make sure to put where I got that into the description below. The first thing that I want to do, because I like to do this between every single round of epoxy that I do, is I'm going to clean up the rim really well. That just helps out with that finishing process when we are all done. Now I am using clear water slide paper for these roses. I'll make sure to put that into the description below. And if you would like some help on clear water slides, I'll attach a link above here that you can click on and watch a video that I've done all about clear water slides. I'm just gonna quickly cut these out and then we'll be ready to apply them to our tumbler. All right, now the fun stuff trying to figure out how you would like to lay down your flowers. Now there is no right or wrong here, guys. However you would like to lay your flowers, do it that way. You could fully cover this with flowers. You could just kind of do a couple flowers here and there. You could do a swirl of flowers and that's all you want to do. It's completely up to you, however you would like to do it. But for me, I really like the idea of having the bigger flowers all around and then just coming through and filling in the smaller flowers that I made in between everything and just kind of making it look almost like wallpaper that it's kind of, that's kind of what it reminded me of was like a really fancy wrapping paper or wallpaper now before I printed these out on my Cricut I went ahead and I made them varying sizes so I made some big ones I made some small ones and I didn't use everything that was given to me in the SVG. I just used a couple different buds that I liked. So now here I am showing you guys how I wrapped around my corner here. It's so simple. Just, just take it and wrap it and just keep pushing until everything is nice and flat and she is good to go. But this is such a simple design. I absolutely know you guys got this. Now I'm just going to continue to lay my flowers all around the tumbler. And then once I was done, I just felt like it needed a little bit more. So I went into my drawer and I seen if I had any flowers in there that, because I keep a lot of my old water slides around. I went into my drawer and actually found a bunch of sunflowers that I had not used in a long time. I don't even remember the last time I used these sunflowers. So I figured this was a good time to kind of use things that I already had on hand, which I will show you guys here in a minute. But first I am going to go ahead and lay down these smaller pieces. And I just wanna show you guys, it's okay to 
layer your clear water slides as well. However you guys want to do it, you can layer them on top of each other. Just kind of leave them next to each other if you would like to, just as long as you make sure that you squeegee all that extra water out from underneath, because if you don't, it could leave a milky white look to your design and you definitely don't want that. And along with making sure that you kind of wrap your design around the bottom because it always looks very nice, you always want to make sure that you finish up your bottom as well and just make sure everything looks very fluid with each other. All right, now this was just me testing this and I actually really liked it, so we capped it. I think I would have showed you guys anyways if it wouldn't have worked out because I was a little nervous that you wouldn't be able to see the sunflowers uh, with the yellow base that we did here but I actually really like how this turned out and obviously you guys know it worked out as well. So I went ahead and I have my sunflowers that have been sitting in my drawer for probably over a year and now we're going to apply that to our tumbler. I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to place it because I only had so many. I think I had two big ones and one little one. So I'm going to put one big one on one side and then I'm going to put another big one on the other side and then I took that smaller one that you see up in the right hand corner there or the left hand corner, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I put that along the bottom. So as you can see, you can you definitely can see it. It just looks very faint, very antique, and I absolutely love how it went well so well with this design. And as you can see, I completely layered these sunflowers right over those roses, no problem. And I kind of wish I would have actually came through and found that design and just printed out a bunch more sunflowers and completely filled in all around the roses with those sunflowers. I think that would have looked really neat, but that's okay. It, it, it is what it is, right guys? I think it still turned out just as beautiful. Okay, after all my decals dried, I probably let it dry for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to come through and we're going to apply another coat of epoxy because we want it nice and smooth for this next thing we're about to do to it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my epoxy. I'm going to let it sit overnight and then we'll be ready to move on to that next step. Here we are the next day and it is absolutely beautiful as it is. You could leave it, you could add some butterflies to it, you could do whatever you want to it. Those are all amazing ideas but I wanted to add just a little bit more touch to it. So I wanted to come through and I wanted to add a touch of gold alcohol ink and this rosy alcohol ink, all from Christy Taylor Creations, which I will put that shop into the description below. You guys know I love my Christy Taylor inks, so I'm gonna go ahead and use those, but you guys can obviously use any inks you already have on hand, but if you'd like to, I'll put it down there for you. I have some 91% alcohol on hand as well. I also have a paper towel, which you can use a makeup sponge. You could use a sea sponge, whatever you guys want to do to apply it. I'm just using a paper towel. <laughs> so as you can see, I am taking that metallic gold alcohol ink and I'm just going to come through and dab it right along those flowers. And I'm trying to show you guys up close because it's kind of hard to see. But if you see, it really adds just a little bit extra touch to these flowers and to this cup, making it even more antique looking. And I'm just going to completely do this all over the entire tumbler, just taking those inks and dabbing it all over and just making sure I kind of blend it the best that I can, making sure that it doesn't look too smudgy or anything like that. You, d you just wanna dab it, that's all you wanna do. And with these alcohol inks, it's just as easy as taking some rub, uh, some of your rubbing alcohol, there we go, and just kind of spritzing it on your paper towel and just wiping off the area that you don't like. So, but as you can see right there on that rose there, look at how that just really magnifies it and, and just really gives it that look that we are after here. I really, really like how these turned out and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. Now I'm going to come through with the gold metallic alcohol ink first. I'm going to completely do my tumbler and then I'm going to roll back through with that pink metallic alcohol ink and we're going to do the same exact thing, just kind of dabbing it here and there, just giving it a little bit extra depth and character to our tumbler until you get it about the way that you would like it. You don't want to add too much, just a little bit, just a hint. And now that I have that exactly the way that I would like it, I'm going to go ahead and apply my decal right over top of this. There's nothing wrong with applying the decal over top of this. It's not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get my decal ready. I'm just doing a very simple decal. It's just my monogram. Nothing too fancy. I'm using black vinyl for it. I, I figured it really went well with the entire color scheme that we were doing here. So that's exactly what I'm doing. 
Now, I know you guys know that usually when I use alcohol inks, I like to give it a good spray of my two times ultra spray sealer, but I didn't have to do that for this. I, I was confident that it would be perfectly okay adding another coat of epoxy. <laughs> so we went ahead and we moved on and we are going to give it its last two coats of epoxy. We're going to let it cure for the proper amount of time. I believe it's three days before I take my first sip out of it. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.